How's it going, everybody? My name's Enstiv, and today I'm going to show you my super smart furnace. Now, I took a simple design of a pretty common design of a smart furnace, and um, or a bud switch, actually, for the furnace, and I converted it into a super smart, or just a smart furnace. And this one's a little bit better than the most because this one uses a uh, command block, and it's very compact for, for, for a smart furnace. And um, now, it may be kind of cheating because you really can't make command blocks. But the way you get command blocks is you do give player name, mine just happens to be February 36. You type in the item code um, 137, and you put whatever quantity you want, and you see it gives you one right there. And that's how you get a command block. They haven't made it a recipe for it yet, but I hope they do, because making it legit would be amazing. So this is what you gotta do. Um, basically, it's done. So if I go ahead and put in. Um, the specific number one diamond's perfect for this because diamond's cooking time is just phenomenal. So if I put in two diamond and I put in four of these, four of these here, because each it takes two to make exactly one diamond smelt, um, get cooked, melt down into a diamond, diamond orange to diamond takes two exactly, and when they are done, you can see we'll watch right here. One's done, one is cooking up in our one. And exactly once it's done, we'll get a message from the command block telling us we are done. So we're going to get exit out of this. And bam. Done. Check your furnace. And you can see we got two of these. And it was pretty quick. So we got 8 XP. So this, you could be anywhere you want. So let's go ahead and um, do one more test. We're going to put in uh, um, two more diamond. We're going to get four more of these. How? Because the exact number you need to cook diamond. I mean, at least two diamond. And let's go. Let's go way over here, and we're just gonna let it do its thing. We're gonna just gonna fly way over here, and um, mind our own business. We're, Tim, we're mining. We're going out into the wilderness, gathering supplies. While that's doing its business, say we were building a bridge or something, or at a cobblestone or stone, or stone brick. Oh, oh, it's done. Okay, I can go back now. Okay, going back. I send you the message telling you it's done, and yeah, <laughs> it's just really um, really nice to have that feature. Well, in Minecraft, I mean, the command block's there for you to use, so I assume, why wouldn't you want to use it to your convenience? And uh, it just really helps. It's super compact. It's only, what, freaking 5 by what, 2? 5 by 2 by 3? By 2? <laughs> My bad. And it, the way they build it, it's just so simple, if you haven't seen it already. I thought I had freaking, uh... Why did I furnish that already? Um, the way they build it, it's super simple. You put one down here, a uh, furnace. Put a sticky piston here. Put a hole here. Torch, redstone right here. It's gonna go out three. And you're gonna get some more of this right here. Put a command block on top. Put a repeater right here, right there, and that's it. So the way you program this, because some of you may not know how to program this, what you want to do is put forwards, um, say, and then if you look on the bottom, use um at a to target all players or to target random players. And then tar target nearest players. The random players just selects random person, and that person's nearest to the furnace would be would be given the message. Um, we're gonna do all players, so you just do at four. I mean at a, and if you want to do a specific player, you just put the player name here. Like mine would be February thirty six, and it would send me that message. Um, any other player would be sent the message, but we're gonna do at a, which sends everybody the message, and um, we're gonna put. Um, Cooking is done. Cooking is done for this one. And that's all that's needed. Now you can see command set, forward slash say, at A. Cooking is done. End done. Not, what the? End done. I want end done. No, we want is done. No, it's not is either. There we are. Is done. And now when we go and put our diamond in, we're going to put one diamond in, and we're going to put two of these. One, two. Go ahead and put it in. And you can see it's really real time, um, with diamond at least. I don't know about gold. I think gold takes a short time to smelt. And you can see, it basically is real time. Look at that. Done, it's done. Cooking is done. And we're ready to go. Send you that message anywhere you are on the map. No matter where you're at, you're going to get that message telling you it's done. And you can see you're really not wasting much space. I mean, it's only an air block and just four more blocks back. And it's just super compact. You could have these back to back to back properly by adding a like having a stone um, to block them from connecting, because that would connect with that. So having now nah, you probably had to have a middle, like a little gap right here, um, to have it back to back to back. So 
Um, that's how. Thank you all for watching. This is the how to make a super smart or my super smart furnace. So um yeah, thank you all for watching again. Hope you like the videos.